guys, my name is Victoria Pava from the Photoshop Artist and welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how easy you can create oil um, painting from your uh, photo. So guys, let's start. I have opened my image I took a few months ago in my studio and uh, by default I have a one layer now, a background layer. I will rename this layer, double click on layer, name and I will rename it to original, just like that. Now I will duplicate my original layer, just like that, and I will hide my uh, first layer. I will rename my new layer to layer number one, just like this. Now I will duplicate my layer number one, and I will rename it to layer number two. What I will do now, guys, I will restock my layers. I will bring my layer number two under my layer number one. And now I have three layers. One layer is my original layer, is uh, hidden. And I have two other visible layers, layer number one and layer number two. I will highlight my layer number one and I will launch my oil paint filter just like this. First of all, guys, I will uh, check a preview box. If preview box checked, I will be able to preview all my changes in real time. And this is awesome. Basically, this is necessary. So I checked my preview um, box. Now we have two workspace. First workspace is a brush workspace and second workspace is a lighting workspace. In brush workspace, we have one, two, three, four sliders. First slider uh, controls um, just the style of the strokes. Second slider controls um, the weight uh, of the uh, strokes. Third slider controls um, uh, how thickness of your uh, brush stroke. And the last uh, breasty detail uh, slider controls how much hair of your brush will be visible in your image. Second workspace is a lighting workspace. This is works. This workspace is very important. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to bring your attention to shine um, slider. I never move my shine slider all the way to the right because if I will move my uh, shine slider all the way to the uh, right, I will bring this Van Gogh uh, effect. Um, nothing is wrong um, with Van Gogh effect. Actually, I love Van Gogh painting, but in this particular image, and uh, if I would like to create more a Renaissance uh, a painting, I never move my shine slider more than um, 0 0.8. It's maximum. Also, we, in a lighting workspace, we have angle. Um, uh, we can control angle of uh, our uh, light. You can move, uh, you can change uh, your angle of your light in any way you like. But if you working, if you are working with more than uh, two layers, and you are creating a different, um, you are applying different oil paint effect to your to different layers in same document i will recommend you not to change your um shine and angle uh, with each layer because um uh, a lighting workspace control controls a light applied to your image so if you will change uh lighting in your in each layer you will apply different uh, light to your layers it's not uh, normal, it's not realistic. So stay with one um, uh, setting uh, in a per a document. Now let's create our art. I will move my first slider somewhere around 0 0.6. Same with uh, my second slider. Maybe I will move my second slider to about 5.2. How about scale slider? Let's see. Hmm. I will move my scale slider about 1.3 and pristy detail. I will move my pristy detail to about uh, uh, 
4.0. I will bring shine um, a slider uh, to the left to about 1.2 and I love it. Now I'm ready to click OK, just like this. Let me show to you uh, our um, oil paint uh, uh, effect applied to our first layer. And let me show to you before and after. This is before and this is after. Guys, I love everything about this um, effect I applied to my image, but I would like to bring more wow effect, more natural looking effect to my uh, image. What I will do? I will hide my uh, top layer, layer number one, and I will highlight my layer number two. I will launch my um, oil paint filter one more time and Photoshop remembers the last uh, filter, the last setting I applied to my oil uh, paint filter. I will not touch, guys, I'm repeating myself, I will not touch anything in my lighting workspace, but I would like to uh, move my first uh, uh, slider, sterilization slider, a little bit to the right, just like this, about 3.4, and I will click OK. Now I have two layers with two oil um, paint filter applied to each of them. With my first layer, I love um, my oil painting around her hair, around her outfit and background. With my second um, oil paint I applied to my second layer, I love effect applied to her face. Can I combine everything together to create something very elegant? Sure, I can. I will bring back visibility of my top layer and I will hide my first original layer. I will highlight my layer number one. I will create a new layer mask and I will switch to my simple paint brush tool with black color. Using uh, my uh, brush with black color, I will paint out area around her face, just like that. Look at this. And now guys, I have one beautiful image. I love oil or paint filter applied to her face and to her hair, to her background, to her outfit and pearls as well. I will merge my visible layers just like that and let me show to you before our oil paint filter and after. This is before and this is after. Beautiful. But what if I would like to add vintage uh, frame to my art? Let's do it. I will create a new empty layer. I will use a white color. And using a paint basket tool, I will fill my new layer with white color. Now, guys, I have opened Adobe Paper Texture Pro panel. You can open it from a Windows, window extension Adobe Paper Texture Pro. It's free if you are a Creative Cloud subscriber. Here I have many, many wonderful uh, textures I can work with. I will click on this texture and voila. Guys, first of all, I would like to bring your attention to this. Photoshop uh, creates a new layer with um, a texture and also Photoshop creates a layer mask to this layer. Uh, also, Photoshop changed blend mode to overlay. I disagree with this particular Photoshop decision and I will change my blend mode to normal, just like this. Now, I will merge my uh, paper texture uh, pro layer and my empty uh, layer we just created with you, just like that. And now I have three uh, layers. One layer is my original layer, one layer, uh, layer with our oil paint we applied to our image and third layer is a uh, layer with texture, uh, 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 texture we applied to our document. I will bring down um, opacity of this layer just like this 
and using a uh, elliptical market tool i will select area in my document just like that now i would like to adjust my selection i will go to select transform selection and i will move my selection and maybe i will make my selection bigger just like this perfect and i will click ok after i'm happy with my selection i will click on delete key just like that and now i will bring back opacity of my layer now we have a very beautiful vintage um frame applied to our uh document i will deselect it but what if i would like to change um bring down uh kind of um i like this frame but this color uh, co all color seems to me a little bit um it's a lot for my test so what i will do i will launch my adjustments panel just like that and I will click on Vibrance, just like that. Now, I would like to specify that I would like to apply adjustment only to the layer below my adjustment. So I would like to apply adjustment only to my frame, not to my uh, entire document. I will click on Add a Clipping Mask, just like that. And I move my Vibrance slider to the left, just like this. And now I'm happy with my frame, just like that. Guys, you have many, many different possibilities to create your frame. Let me merge uh, my frame with my adjustment layer, just like that. You can bring down opacity of your frame. You can create a simple um, white frame let's create it i will create um, a new layer i will fill this layer with white color i will switch to uh, elliptical uh, market tool i will bring opacity of this layer down and i will select part of my image if i disagree with my selection i will go and um, transform my selection just like that i will click ok and i will delete area i previously selected i will deselect it i will bring back opacity of my uh, layer just like that so you have many many different ways of creating your vintage frame you can use simple white frame or you can cre create something unique using adobe paper detector um uh pro um it's up to you if you will ask me what frame i prefer i prefer in this case simple white frame also you can add your name you can add your signature you can add any text you like uh, any text to your frame you can add anything you like so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today if you have any questions just ask i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions as usual super appreciated of all your support thank you so much for being with me and i will see you later bye guys